Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a video today on what I eat in a day. So I'm gonna show you from the beginning of the day to the end, everything that I eat. Um, my oldest son, Elijah, is eight years old and he has recently started making breakfast for me. Often he needs a lot of help, but he is my breakfast helper. So today he is making oatmeal. I've shared with you guys in the past that I follow Trim Healthy Mama. I am still following it about as much as I ever have. So probably 75% of my meals are Trim Healthy Mama approved. I am breastfeeding, so I do eat a lot more crossovers, but I do try to stick to some healthy foods and I do try to have at least one or two S meals every day. I know some of you guys have lately been asking me if I'm still following Trim Healthy Mama. So today's breakfast, I have some large flake oats here. I cooked them up with some cinnamon and then I put some bananas on top and some honey. Right after breakfast, I am ready for my first coffee of the day. I do drink two or three coffees every day. It definitely helps my day go better and I have just a bit of cream with my coffee. For lunch, I'm gonna have some wraps. So I use these Dumpster's tortillas from Costco. I'm going to have two wraps and on them I'm gonna put some mustard, ham, lettuce, and peppers. I really like to have apples with this um, sandwich too, but I'm out of apples today, but I'm going to have an orange on the side with these sandwiches. I wanted to also mention, I was going to title this video something along the lines of what I eat in a day trying to lose weight, because I do have about 15 pounds left after having my son, who's almost four months old now, that I do want to lose. But I, I decided not to title that because I'm really not in a hurry to lose this weight. I am trying to just eat whole, healthy foods. Like I said, somewhat following Trim Healthy Mama, but just making sure that I'm having a lot of protein and getting good nutrition and energy to, for one, be able to run around the house and do everything I have to do as well as eating enough to be able to breastfeed my son. So I am trying to lose weight, but for the most part, I am just trying to eat healthy and I know that that weight will eventually come off. After lunch, I'm having another coffee here. I do also drink a lot of water. I didn't mention that earlier in the video, but I do have water with every meal, um, as well as in between meals. I do end up drinking um, a lot of water throughout the day. So uh, I'm having a coffee again with cream. It's a little tricky to get the lid of the cream off with only one hand, but I do end up holding my son a lot of the time, even while I am working in the kitchen, um, but it makes it a little bit tricky. I wanted to show Wesley to the camera here and it made me laugh because he couldn't keep his eyes off my coffee. In the middle of the afternoon, I did a workout and so after my workout, I made myself a smoothie. I've been making this smoothie all the time lately. It's just so good and it is almond milk with some cottage cheese, I put in some frozen berries and then also a scoop of protein powder and then I run that through the Vitamix. Sometimes like today it was a little bit thick so I just added a little bit of water into it and it just is a delicious smoothie and it's so filling and it has a lot of protein in it so I have no problem um, being full until supper. For tonight's supper, I cooked some pork tenderloin in the crock pot with some beef broth and cut up onions here. And then on the side I had some cauliflower and with some melted cheese. The rest of the family did have some roasted potatoes that I cooked up, but I decided to go for no carbs tonight, so I'm just having the meat and the cauliflower. Right after supper, I wanted one more coffee. I didn't want to have coffee too close to bedtime, so I had just a half cup um, right after supper. And then here is my evening snack. So I'm making some popcorn. I am cooking it or popping it in coconut oil. And um, after that's done, I'm gonna put some peanut butter in it. This has been my new favorite. I take just a couple teaspoons or tablespoons actually of peanut butter and melt those. And then when the popcorn's done, I drizzle it over and have some water on the side, of course. And um, it is just a really delicious, delicious snack. It's been my new favorite. So thank you for watching today, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.